Hey, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. So in this video, I'm going to share a little bit with you guys about how I've been using Google Keep to stay on top of my fly lady routines. Um, this is not going to be a super in-depth step-by-step tutorial. I'm just more going to show you guys how I've been using it to stay on top of my fly lady routines, especially since everything is like really crazy uh, with this whole coronavirus coronavirus quarantine I'm just needing tools that just make it really easy for me to stay on top of my routines um, check the status and see where I am and what types of things I need to be working on and I just like having something that's convenient in my pocket at all times so that I can just quickly refer to my list and move on with my life and so if you're interested in how I've been using Google keep to stay on top of my fly lady routines then you definitely want to stay tuned and actually later on after we talk for a little bit you know have a little girl chat um, I'm gonna be showing you guys an actual look at my Google Keep um, and you'll see me going through and assessing what I've done last week and preparing my to-do list for next week um, yeah so why did I try this method out I Oh, you guys, I have a little PowerPoint, okay? I'm trying to be fancy today, so yes. So, um, why did I try this method out? I decided to try this method because, like I mentioned, um, things have just been really crazy with this coronavirus thing, and I have tried lots of different ways to stay on track on my fly lady routines, and I like them all. Like, I am not knocking down any method over another. Um, I tried to use a photo album. Sorry. My kids, you probably hear them. I try to use a photo album and I would stick like um, note cards in there. And I really like that because I could easily pull out the note card, like if it wasn't relevant anymore, or if I wanted to update my routine or change it, I would pull it out and slide a new one in. So if you want to see what that control journal looks like, my photo album control journal, I have a video where I talk about that. I will include the link up here. And I'll also include the link in the description box. And so, um, so yeah, like that was pretty cool and I liked it, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm just really weird. I just feel like the more polished and put together my stuff looks, the better. And I do know that that's not a great way to start. You know, if you're waiting for like a beautiful picture, perfect, polished, well put together control journal, that's just like you're creating one obstacle that keeps you from getting started. So I remember either watching a YouTube video or maybe I heard it from Fly Lady where she was just like, don't be trying to make it all cute, okay? Just get it done and let's move on with life. And so I really tried to do that, but I just really like things that are neat and crisp, polished. And I think that's why that didn't really last for very long. So then the next thing I tried to do is I tried to type up my routines and have them, you know, in my planner all nice and pretty. Um, but you guys, my routines change so much. Like as I grow and as I develop, I start to realize that, okay, like this is a task that would be better suited for me to do in the afternoon. Or maybe this is something I need to do on Wednesdays. And this is, some, you know, and I'm moving things all around. So it really is annoying to print off your little cute printables, you know, and then have to change them all the freaking time. So that wasn't working. So another thing that I tried to do is I tried to print off a just a standard weekly template and I still like it you know I was using it just last week and I'm trying to find a way to upload it to make it available to anybody who likes that style and it was working out really great because I could see my progress throughout the week I felt like it was really neat and clean and I like that um, but what had happened was girl all this homeschooling it was just too much paper too much paper for me everywhere okay um, just having to shift through my kids school papers and keeping up with their routines and just it was just too much so I was like okay I remember seeing a YouTube video from a elementary teacher her name is pocket full of primary um, and she was talking about using Google keep to stay on top of her teacher routines and so I was like okay like and I thought it was really cute. She had a little Apple Watch, so she would put her routines on there, and she would get these little alerts, beep, 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 and she would see, oh, I need to do this, this, and this, and so she, she would run and do them really quickly, and then bop, 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 and just follow along with her checklist throughout the day. So I was like, you know what? I think that there's a way that I can get this to work for Fly Lady, and I tried it this week, I experimented with this week, and I really 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 enjoy it. So the app that I'm using is called Google Keep. And in just a moment, I will show you guys what it looks like on the inside. But, um, and I'll also show you guys 
me just playing with it and planning and getting ready for next week. But before I do that, I have a short PSA to all my new fly babies out there. Okay. I'm about to show you the full fledged system. All right. Everything that is pretty much involved with having a fly lady run household. All right. So number one, you do not have to do the whole program because I don't want you to see this and be like, oh my God, it's too much. Okay, you don't have to do the whole program. Don't get turned off if you feel like this is too much, it's too overwhelming, it's too complicated, don't. Okay, um, I have videos where I talk about each of these things in more detail, but for the purposes of this video, you just figure out what you need in your life, what would bring you peace and what would bring you um, just more peace in your home and make you feel like more on top of things and incorporate those little pieces into your life. Also, if you do aspire to have the whole system working for you one day, um, the way to do it is to do it in baby steps. Pick one little task and commit to it for a couple of days, for a week, whatever. Then add a second task, add a third task, add a, and before you know it, okay, you're going to have this beautiful system and your life is going to flow and it's going to be amazing. But don't look at my list and be like, oh my gosh, this lady's crazy. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into how mine is set up. I have basically four buckets that I keep track of. You will see, excuse me, you will see those four buckets and you will see what I like to keep inside of each bucket. And then you'll also see how I um, track throughout the day. Um, one more thing that you want to, that I want to share before I show the video is after I create my to-do list, there is an option where you can go in and set reminders. You can set daily reminders, weekly reminders, monthly reminders. I have chosen to set up daily reminders for each of my to-do lists so that in the morning, first thing in the morning at eight o'clock, I get a reminder saying, hey, did you do your morning routine? At 8.30, I get it, or I can't remember the exact time, it's like 8.15, 8.10, 8.30, 8 something. I get another reminder saying, hey, did you do your weekly home blessing task for the day? And later on that day, probably around lunch, I get another reminder saying, hey, are you going to do zone cleaning today? And then um, I have one more reminder that's like, hey, here's your, today is anti-procrastination day. Here's what you're supposed to do for today. So I didn't show you guys the reminders that I have set up, but um, I will let you guys see what how my thing is looking and then we'll talk afterwards. I have these four different ones and what I did is on my weekly plan, which let me just go and uncheck all. You can see that I have Monday's best day. And then every Monday, I like to just balance my budget. If I haven't planned my week already, I'll do that. Um, I still have appointments that I need to schedule, but that's not going to happen this Monday. So I'm going to take that off my to-do list. Then we have anti-procrastination day, which this is done and it's not a repeat item. So I will just click it off. This is done. It is not a repeat item. I will click it off. And then I could just think of like anything on my to-do list that's I've been, that I've been procrastinating on. And then I'll make time here to do it. And then <clears throat> I have meal planning day, which I have a meal plan that needs to be turned in or submitted that day so I can do my shopping and stuff on the weekends. And then I also put here that I needed to do something, but since I'm not going to do it this week, I'll go ahead and check it off. And then... These were some calls that I had last week. They will not be moving over to the next week, so I'll just go ahead and X those off. But I will start challenging myself to keep my fridge together, and so 15 minutes on Thursday, and I will devote to wiping down my fridge and freezers in the house. And then on Friday, um, I don't have this call anymore. Um, I may need to go to the post office. I will leave it there. I like to check my mail. I don't need to do this lotion refill anymore, so I'll get rid of that. This is something I'll be doing at a different time. Something different. So these are things that won't be carried over a little bit. And then I'll take that off. And then here, for self-care day, um, we have that on Saturdays and then Sundays. So, and then this is a uh, thing that I've checked it off because I'm not going to do it, but as soon as this whole quarantine thing is over, I will need to go in there and get those. And then, so that's what I need to do each day. And then for my daily routines, um, 
I have my morning routine done for the day, but each day I can go in and just follow along. So that's actually done. So my morning routine is complete. Um, for lunchtime, we did this. Sorry. We've done this. We've done that for lunch. So, oh, yeah, we got that. So our midday reset is done. And then lastly, it would be my evening routine. So I can just follow along with my daily routines. And then over here, I've reset this, but throughout the week, I just do one of these tasks per day. And so I can just follow along and check it off as I need to. And then over here, we have our zone cleaning, which I'm still kind of working through. Sorry. Um, so for zone cleaning, I finished working in the entryway last week. So these are things that I feel like I'm going to do regularly. So I'm not going to X any of those out. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm not, but if it was like something like a one-time thing that I'll probably never have to do again, I will get rid of it. But I will keep it here just for record keeping of the type of stuff that I like to get done. Next week, we'll be working on the kitchen. So I can sit here and think of some ideas of what I would like to do. Definitely reorganize my pantry, clean out of the fridge. That's kind of like looking bad. Um, usually, I can do a lot in my kitchen because like I don't have to go to a separate space away from the kids. So, um, I'll just be thinking of things and just adding them to my list as I go through the day. And then if anything comes up for zone three that I can already see, like, oh, I'm going to want to work on that. Sorry, got my babies here. I'll be keeping track of that. And I'll add that to my list. The same thing for zone four. Uh oh And zone five. Okay, so... That's pretty cool, right? What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool, and to me, it's just really nice. Um, so like I said, there's four steps. So what I tried to do initially when I did this that I didn't really like is I tried to create a list for every single little thing. Like I had a morning routine list, evening routine list, nighttime routine list, zone one, zone two. Like, don't do that. Don't be like me, okay? Keep it simple. Create four to-do lists, okay? because it's just gonna make it look cleaner and neater and smoother. I mean, you can create as many lists as you want, but um, this worked a little better for me and it was less confusing and more straightforward and it made it very simple to know what I needed to be working on and what was gonna be saved for another day. So these are the lists. I created my daily fly lady routines. So I include my morning routine, my midday routine, and my evening routine all in that list. I have my weekly home blessing routine so if you're doing it the way that Fly Lady has outlined, most people do their fly, their weekly home blessing on Monday and they do it from start to finish and they're done and they're done for the week. I have personally chosen to do a little bit every day. So I've broken my tasks out and on Monday I handle one thing, Tuesday I handle another. So I can just kind of see where I am on the list and I can track it throughout the week. I have my basic weekly plan. And so for those of you that are new for Fly Lady, Monday is, for me, for me, it's anti-procrastination day. Tuesday is, no, sorry, Monday is desk day. Tuesday is anti-procrastination day. Wednesday is, I don't really know, y'all. I'm playing my Wednesday. It's supposed to be like some type of food day. I think I do my meal plan now. I'm playing with that day. Thursday is, I've decided to have a clean fridge day because y'all, my fridge is on the struggle boat right now. And then Friday is errand day. Saturday is self-care day. Sunday is... Um, family fun day. So you just have different themes and focuses for each day. So gone are the days of having that big old to-do list, all right? We're breaking up our to-do list according to the day of the week. And so when you get a to-do list action item, you figure out where you're going to put it. Because if it's like a desk day type of task, something that you're already doing, um, like it requires reaching out to somebody, making a phone call, um, doing paperwork, you're already going to be at your desk. You might as well just throw it in there with your other desk day things and maximize on that time. If it requires leaving the house, put it on a Friday because you're already going to be out the house doing your errands, so put it on a Friday. So anyway, and then the last thing that I did is I have zone cleaning and I decided to keep all of my zone cleaning tasks in one area. And um, so, yeah. So... Yeah, so what does my day look like now? So basically, yeah, I get these cool little alerts like I mentioned earlier throughout the day just reminding me that, hey, you need to be working on this. And so it just helps me. It keeps it top of mind and I will sit there until I clear it out. And so just because it pops up doesn't mean I have to do it. Like if I decide that 
it's just not happening that day I clear it out and move on with my life and the one thing that I do like about the alerts is that it kind of continues like if you do daily alerts it continues where you left off so if maybe you've done two things on um, your I don't know weekly home blessing when you get that alert the next day it'll remind you where you left off and what you have left so I really like that so let's talk about some pros and cons um, I like the alerts they help me keep my routines on top of mine. I like that it continues where you left off, which I kind of talked about a moment ago. I like that anytime I have like a moment, like a downtime, like 10 or 15 minute break, I can flip open my phone and know exactly what I could be doing to move forward on my routines and be able to have a free weekend and get everything done. I like that I can reuse the lists. So I don't have to just rewrite the list out every week. Um, it's re very reusable and it will help me just keep everything in one place. I like that it's portable, it's on my phone, um, so that, you know, I'm thinking about even creating like a grocery list that I can keep track of because that's the one problem I have with the control journal is that it's, I'm not gonna take my control journal everywhere, but if it's in my phone, that's great. I like that it frees up space in my planner because there was a time where I would try to write things down that I needed to get done in my planner, but you guys know I juggle so many things and, it just kind of takes up a lot of space and so if I can have that free space in my planner to not keep track of the things that I just do day in and day out and day in and day out that's really great and then I like that it's very easy to move stuff around like if something doesn't get done on a particular day all I have to do is slide it up and down and it goes where it needs to go the thing that I didn't like about it is that my screen is very sensitive so you have to be careful to not accidentally check something off or to move it to a new date so anyway, I don't know if you guys like these types of videos, but if you do, please let me know um, if this is helpful. Also, if you guys have any questions, ooh, can I delete that? Like that is so unprofessional or like whatever. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I do plan to start doing live videos and I want to make it like question and answer based at least until I can go back to making like your more traditional videos, which I'm still going to try to work on those, but they will probably be a little less until um, something changes with my schedule, people. But um, yeah, leave your questions down below. I do plan to come and create live videos discussing those things and seeing what you are. I do plan to create live videos discussing those issues and just sharing my path and my journey. So any questions that you guys have about the Fly Lady system, um, give me your questions. Anything that you guys have about just juggling um, a life while also trying to um, juggle a business, please let me know and I will share anything that I feel like I can do to be of service and to be helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, leave your questions down below. Do it. Do it. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.